Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot here with your daily collective reading, your daily collective love reading. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, please do smash that like and subscribe button. And yeah, we're going to take a look and see what the messages are playing out for today moving forward from the time you listen to this video. Um, so please be mindful, you guys, as always, these are general love messages. Some may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Don't try to force it. All right. And whatever doesn't fit, just leave the rest. I will be here every day uploading Sunday through Thursday, a daily love collective reading for all signs. And of course, then um, a weekend reading. Okay. So, all right, let's take a look here. Get some cards flying out and we're starting here the page of cups okay so there's some type of a message perhaps a text message or a call um let's see somebody has a crush on you or there's a love admirer <laughs> um this person comes across with much youth youthfulness sensitivity this is someone who's a bit of a dreamer um they might be psychic a um, bit naive, but they're bringing some happy news. And with the chariot, okay, so we're starting off with Pisces and Cancer energy. With the chariot, this news, I feel that somebody is overcoming some obstacles, um, taking control. Um, hmm. Now, the chariot can be also a card of movement. Um, and travel as well. There's ambition, determination. So someone's determined here um, to express how they feel about you. Okay. This could be somebody that you already know. This could be somebody new, but the energies from this point going forward in August, very strong message about that. Okay. So also we have the King of Cups. There is the Knight of Wands. The magician and queen of swords okay so we're looking again at pisces could be cancer or scorpio we have sagittarius gemini and aquarius could also be libra and gemini or um yeah libra aquarius gemini so okay hmm what's interesting you've got somebody here who has some pretty heavy duty passion for you um, and is desiring to manifest and communicate with you some truth. Okay. Um, somebody's taking action here and going to try and work their magic. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, but this is hasty, very hasty. A lot of movement happening here in manifestation. So you feel like this energy is somebody's going to start off with some kind of a phone call or a text message and express their admiration or love or that they have a crush or that there's some kind of emotional, um, heartfelt sentiment coming from someone. It could even be, maybe they send you a picture of some sort to remind you of something or to show you something that has sentimental value. It's very mild. It's like an, it's like a mild, uh, emotion. Okay. It's not, it's not like like heavy duty um it's simple and it's sweet and um also they might be sending you a picture of a new car that they just bought <laughs> or to show you a car or send you a picture of themselves on their travels okay or tell you about their travels or also for some this is an apology okay and i'm also hearing um something about um connecting with you traveling connecting with you in some way okay so we have a king of cups here who is showing up hasty lusty energetic charming exciting fearless this is their energy um revolutionary open-minded very sexy a shameless flirt <laughs> these are going to be their actions okay king of cups is generally not like that um yes charming okay but there's a um <laughs> like a like a spirit of attraction the king of cups is generally romantic and affectionate um can be a mature compassionate male 
um, or a female in their mas more masculine energy. Usually the King of Cups is like caring and friendly and pretty stoic in a lot of ways, but their physical passion and actions are going to be like, wow, very energetic, okay? And so there's something to do, it could be, with a king of cups, uh, doesn't have to be that sign, you guys, but it's someone who's coming across in that element where there's going to be, um, oh gosh, like uh, someone coming in with this hero or hero, her, heroine, heroine, am I saying that? Rebellious? This person's rebelling from their natural baseline of how they typically behave. Um, very hot and fiery and um, passionate about you in regards to you. So there might be some communication here, okay, um, about connecting with you from now and through the month of August. Now there's also a queen of swords here, um, male or female energy. So I feel like there's two people actually. Um, there's somebody here connecting with you who is wants to talk to you okay um let me see here it's going to be some communication this person wants to talk to you and tell you something let me see what's going on something that they're doing or they're manifesting um let's see this person's like a a real smooth talker like they make plans this person makes plans I'm working some magic let me see okay Wow. Hmm. There's so much travel. So much travel. So much movement happening here. Introspection. Okay. There might be an air sign who's um, going to say something about some type of disappointment. They feel disappointed. It doesn't necessarily mean disappointment in you, but there's an energy of feeling disappointed. All right. I feel like we've got a couple of different things going on here. Okay. Let me see. We have a couple of storylines. So let's see how this plays out. All right. We're going to start at the beginning here. We're going to take a look at this text message or this call or this someone who has a crush. Um, and they're getting, okay, Emperor showing up here. So could be an Aries. So whoever has this crush here, they're taking a bold step to express this feeling for you, okay? Um, they're overcoming some type of obstacle. Maybe there was fear or this person was, you know, um, reckless or they had a lack of direction at one point. Um, or they felt powerless to tell you how they felt about you. Okay. And I feel like they're, the emperor is a card of bravery, a stand up kind of an energy. Okay. This is someone who is very structured, sits in a position of authority, control, um, discipline. So I feel like there is definitely uh, some communication, some love, heartfelt communication someone expressing how they feel about you okay um, let's see this could be a boss for some of you they could be saying oh you know I've kind of had a thing for you for a while um, maybe you work in or you're okay either you work with this person and something to do with transportation or they do something in transportation but this person is like high up on the the ladder so they either own a transportation company or like they could be a pilot or someone who is in military or something along those lines maybe they work in some type of authoritative position where they're like a commander of some sort they command um ceo like the highest at the highest level okay so I feel like you're going to get some type of message from someone in August, sometime between August 4th and the 7th from this person where they, you know, are like, hey, by the way, I have a little thing for you. <laughs> um, very interesting. It could be a father figure or um, for some of you, it's just a sweet, either an apology or um, just a sweet 
message or text message from a father, okay, for some. Hearing from your father, if you haven't heard from your father in a while, okay? could For some of you, it could be wishing you a happy birthday if your birthday is in August or a belayed uh, a delayed, belated happy birthday if your birthday was in July. That's pretty belated, but could be an apology for missing something or missing your birthday. Now, let's take a look at this King of Cups. Okay, King of Cups coming in hot and hot and heavy, hot and bothered. Okay, King of Cups is really, it's weird because you had the King of Cups yesterday. King of Cups is really like, got the serious hots for you whoever you are. Let's see. Collective read. Okay. Oh, wow. Three of Pentacles. This dedicated. This is somebody who's like dedicated. Teamwork. One-on-one. -on -one. This partner wants to like explore you, <laughs> explore your physical, explore your body, explore your mind, explore the passions with you, work together, um, collaborate. <laughs> Sometimes this is going to be the card of marriage. So, you know, marrying something together, it could be, you know, rolling under the covers with you, or it's just a lot of passion here. Okay. This person wants to give to you and make you feel good. This feels like a, a real strong, like, um, <laughs> they just gave me, like, I don't know, what are we running, like, um, <laughs> tarot hub here, this person. <laughs> All right, just look at the picture and go with what you see in your own mind, okay? Just do that, okay? One's up higher, one's down lower. This this energy, listen, I'm, let's keep it PG here, people. Okay, so this King of Cups, I feel like, is in a heart. Ooh, okay. This King of Cups got, either got cut off or was in a third party or broke up with somebody or something ender, ended. They walked away from something. All right interesting now hold on let me they're just bringing me back to these first text messages or communication okay yeah so all right it's pretty much the same story with this text message or this apology or this communication it's just sorry for betraying you or, or i'm surrendering here um I, i'm recognizing you and that really has a lot to do with like it's either a crush or an apology from someone that there's like recognition somebody recognizing sending you well wishes um this could be someone who's also in a position of like fame or they have a lot of supporters or they're recognized, okay? I feel like we got a couple storylines going on here. So this is like a pick a card spread here. So you go with whatever fits you. Um, let's see, could be all of it. Okay, so this Queen of Swords, okay. Queen of Swords could be a friend, it could be a lover. Um, I feel like there's communication. This Queen of Swords, I feel like is I'm gonna tell you some truth. Um, it's going to try to be fair with you here about, they're telling me why they walked away, okay? And I feel like they're gonna communicate with you the reason that they walked away was they were so overwhelmed and stressed. They had a lot of anxiety. They needed to start manifesting things in their life because they feel like this person um, wasn't able to do something and they had to move on or move away or go take care of business or whatever. Is this person apologizing? I don't feel that way. I feel like this person has a lot of regret and remorse and they will tell you um, I don't know that they'll have an apology coming to you, but I do feel like they will tell you that um, they they didn't mean to disappoint you. Um, whoever this person is, they didn't mean to disappoint you. Uh, they just, they needed to go take care of some business or whatever. They had something going on in their lives that was completely... Uh, it was chaotic and there was a lot of turmoil. Now, it could be a male, could be a female. All right, let me see. Okay, yeah. So, they might have denied friendship or love with you or refused some kind of offer or um, opportunity with you. Yeah, um, there's going to be some communication with this person. I will tell you that. 
you probably are going to hear from them. Okay. Let me take a look here, but I do feel like they're going to tell you everything. So if you're in a situation where you've either you still are seeking closure or you um, have left that and you're just like done, I feel like you're going to get some answers in August. Um, let's see. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Definitely telling the truth here. Um, they've been delaying explaining something to you and they've been very curious about you also. Um, I don't know if this person's been keeping their eye on you or watching you or uh, it's very interesting. Let me see. I'm picking up a lot of Gemini energy so it could be a Gemini for some. All right. doesn't have to be. Definitely feels like air. Okay. Yeah. So... I do feel like this person, the good news that they are coming in with is to tell you that, um, you know, they want to try to start something up with you again, um, whether that's a relationship, some kind of a relationship with you, um, to have some type of growth. Yeah, I, I don't know how you feel about all this. Let me take a look at your energy with all of this going on here. Okay, look at you. You're like, oh, I'm taking care of my own business. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. You're single and abundant, okay? You're independent, stable, full of prosperity. I feel like you're not attached to any of these situations here. I feel like these are all external things that are coming in in August, okay? And I feel like for you, you are, you're already good. I feel like, I don't know, like, you're just standing here. You're not chasing, you're not running, you're not doing anything. You're just standing here taking care of your own business in your life. Let's see what's going on with you. You must be attracting all this. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Maybe you are an earth sign. Okay, let's see. You might be like just very focused on your, your dollars and your wealth and your business. Um, let's see. Or you could be communicating or connecting right now with an earth sign who's like high status. Okay. Let's see. The high priestess. Hmm. Inner knowing. But I feel like you are, you're very stable, emotionally stable going into August for sure. You're looking really good and you might be just uh, drawing people into you or attracting these people in. I just feel like... I feel like you are just going about your day. Definitely. Um, August 19th will be significant. I feel like you're going... Okay. All right. So... Could be... I'm just hearing also February 19th. So maybe there's um, something to do with a Pisces or an Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like you're free. You're enjoying your life. You're optimistic. And you're you're in a good place so that i like to see that about you okay sun and the moon okay by day and by night you're well rounded here hmm you're really in touch with your subconscious at this time especially that the inner knowing you have like this wisdom going on about who you are what you want what your goals are what you're attaining you know, um, the cycles, you're going through these cycles at this time and you're going with the flow. Okay. Huh. Somebody have like a grandparent or a great grandparent born in the year 1918. Very strange. Okay. So you're going through these cycles and you're just kind of riding the wave. You're looking good. You're looking really great for August. And I feel like that's what's happening here you've transitioned into something maybe you've actually transitioned but you've transitioned into something you're in a very calm place or you will be getting yourself in a very calm place in august that you've had healing there's progress you're moving on moving forward there's calm after a storm you're overcoming hardship you know um 
days, your days might be fun and free and positive and joyous and nights might be a little difficult. At times you might feel a little emotional at times at night, but um, yeah, I feel like you're in a good place and it seems to me like you're drawing in three different energies here. Okay, you've got somebody coming in here who's reaching out and expressing to you how they feel about you, maybe even apology. Okay, um, could be a father figure or a boss or someone that you're connecting with or maybe connecting with um, in August. And then you've also got someone showing up here who's like hot to trot for you tremendously. Um, wants to be with you big time. And then you have somebody else here who's trying to start something else up with you again. It doesn't really feel romantic. This one feels like this is just fire. This is passion. This doesn't really feel romantic. This feels like it might be a friendship or an acquaintance, you know, um, or someone who just comes in to tell you something and what's been going on. And then, you know, they have this outpouring that they want to try to resume a friendship or catch up again with you or connect with you. All right, let's take a look at the love front. I just want to do a real quick love message here for you and see what these energies are actually i'm going to go through the signs <clears throat> all right give me one second let's go through each individual signs if you're dealing with we'll see what their energies are towards you okay so if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like there's an Aries, oops, sorry. There's an Aries who wants to um, have a reunion or a renewal or date or connect with you in some way. Um, maybe have happy hour, go out to dinner, <laughs> something along those lines. Oh, my camera doesn't want to go back to normal. That's okay. I'll hold it up close so you can see. Okay. You've got some like an Aries who wants to connect with you. All right. If you're dealing with, I'm sorry, if you're dealing with an Aries, they want to connect or have some kind of reunion or spend some time with you. All right. Um, <clears throat> have some healing energy. Um, again, renewal. There's an Aries who wants to renew something with you and move something forward here with you. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, okay, the Taurus is feeling sad, remorse, regret, grief, feels left out in the cold. Um, definitely four of cups doesn't know if you will even have them back or if you want anything to do with them um, a lot of remorse and sorrow feeling sorry for the loss of something or the loss of a relationship all right if you're dealing with a Gemini okay Gemini is waiting on you Gemini is like wants to make plans three of Pentacles in the reverse okay um, <clears throat> Gemini thinks you've walked away or that you are not interested in them anymore. You don't want to work things out or try to collaborate or come together, but they're still wishing for you. They're still waiting. Okay, this part, this Gemini is still waiting for something to happen with you. It's going to wait for quite some time, I think, waiting to hear from you. Okay, if you're dealing with Cancer, oh, Cancer has their eyes on you. They're watching you. Okay, in silence sneakily watching you oh they want to see who you're talking to they're looking to see if you're starting up communications or if you have anybody else in your life um this cancer is they're they're waiting for the right time to communicate with you they are going to try to talk to you very soon all right if you're dealing with a leo oh okay Leo's trying to make a decision. Okay, Leo's in this position. Leo's looking good. Leo wants to marry you. Um, they're just looking for, um, <laughs> typical, Leo. <laughs> Leo's trying to sort out who's the best option. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, let me get this too. I don't know why this is doing this today. I'm so sorry. But um, Leo, though, is absolutely up in dreamland and fantasy land about you. Definitely, Leo. Um, I feel like if they're not trying to sort out this Leo, not so, I, don't, I don't mean sort between you and like 
six other people. I mean, Leo's trying to, to make things reality, make what they want, this grounded kind of energy, marriage, home, kids, family, work, business, inheritance, leaving a legacy with you. Um, they're trying to come down out of the clouds <laughs> and make this real, this Leo. Okay, so if you are dealing with a Virgo, okay, oh, Virgo has a crush on you. Okay, hmm. Virgo, wow. Um, Virgo wants to talk to you and have a reconnection with you, even if it's just friends, okay? Um, Virgo's coming across with this King of Swords energy, um, very much like astute, witty, communicative. And I feel like there might be an apology for something that was said here. Um, <clears throat> maybe some harsh words that weren't meant to cut, um, but might have cut. Okay, so there, there may be an apology. Virgo is, yeah, wants this to have this love connection here with you. So you may be hearing from a Virgo very soon. Okay, if you're connecting with a Libra. Oh, there you go. All right, Libra's got something to say. Oh, Libra wants to make a proposal, make an offer to you. Uh, Libra's really up in their feelings, okay? Coming across with the Queen of Cups energy as well. Um, Libra also wants you to figure out who you want to be with. Do you want to be with Libra or somebody else? Libra's like, are you going to make a decision? Um, who are you going to, who are you going to, offer your love to who you're going to offer your cup to so libra i don't know maybe you have somebody else maybe you don't <clears throat> but libra um is hmm feels like they're in competition for your love and feels like you're offering your love to somebody else and libra's like no come this way libra's going to try and get your attention try to get you to bring that cup your love to them Okay, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, okay. Um, hmm, Scorpio, okay, interesting. Scorpio's, Scorpio's got plans. Scorpio's got legal plans that there's going to be some type of communication about a financial decision or financial plans that are being made. Um, hmm, Scorpio might be getting a divorce as well. Um, and Scorpio is gonna is like thinking about sending you a gift. I, I have to tell you, Scorpio has like an extreme, um, passionate, lusty, um, fiery energy for you, in some way. Um, well, I don't mean in some way. I mean in like a f the physical way. But I feel like there's Scorpio is gonna send some kind of a communication to you about maybe some money that they owe you, or send you um, might. <sighs> Hmm. thinking about sending you a gift as well like a monetary gift or something of value of course um, with justice I feel like uh, Scorpio wants to be fair about something and bring things into balance but there's also this <laughs> you know if you're uh, there's a very phallus symbol here okay so this is like a turn on there's something here I feel like Scorpio is very turned on by you if you're dealing with a Scorpio. That's an interesting message. Let's see. Sagittarius. If you're dealing with this. Oh, you're dealing with such. Sag oh, Sagittarius is like. Oh, Sagittarius is going to be reaching out to you. Absolutely. Um, Sagittarius has going to take some kind of risk and send some type of message. Um, invite you to go somewhere to go play some games or to connect with you. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get, um, this might be from far away, but Sagittarius is taking a bold risk, which to Sagittarius would not be anything out of the normal or the ordinary. But I do feel like um, uh, there's they, they're going to invite you to travel or they're going to ask if they can come see you and connect with you. Page of Wands is, is like very enthusiastic. And this is also like a physical crush. There's like a, a strong physical attraction, very smitten with you. Okay. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, ooh, of course there's the devil card. Okay. Ooh, Capricorn is like, wow. Capricorn's got some hidden toxic energy. Then um, they're trying to rebuild their lives. Um, 
there's something going on with a family situation with Capricorn that um, there's a lot of anxiety about not knowing. Capricorn is also very stressed. They think you might be um, renewing or going home or leaving or leaving a marriage or leaving a relationship or if you've already left, they think that you are already um, trying to form uh, a foundation with somebody new as well. They, they're they having a lot of this devil suspicion um, because there's a lot of quietness and they're, they, they're not seeing anything what's going on with them. But I also feel like there's a secret here and I feel like this Capricorn wants to have either marry you or be in a committed relationship with you. They don't know how you feel. Um, they want to have a renewal or reunion with you. Okay, and this is strange. I, the toxicity is that they're keeping this secret right now. They're not seeing anything. They're hiding. And for others, this, this Capricorn could be hiding um, another relationship. And it's just killing them now. It's become so toxic. Um, or they haven't left it, but they're thinking about leaving it because it's very toxic at this point. It might not have been before, but at this point it is. All right. If you're connecting with Aquarius. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Aquarius is waking up. You are a wish come true for them. This is a soulmate connection. Aquarius wants to um, reconcile with you. I'm trying to get this to come back. I don't know why. Sorry, I'll try to figure out why it keeps doing that. I'll have to fix it. Yeah, Aquarius is like waking up to the fact that you are you are a wish come true for this person. This person really, Aquarius wants to be with you and spend time with you and the kids. Yeah, um, they're stuck on you. They keep thinking back to the past. Okay, and it's coming up for them. It's being revealed um, this is judgment. This is judgment. Aquarius feels like they're, they're going to open up to you and tell you that they want another chance or they want another try and that you are like cornucopia of everything they could ever want or wish or dream to have. But this is like an awakening to them. They're, they're, they're like coming out of hiding and coming to terms with this. Wow. All right, let's see. Last one we have is Pisces. So, okay, let me fix this. If you're connecting with a Pisces, okay. Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There's the Pisces card. All right. Pisces is not showing you, but they are, they're surrendering and um, they're surrendering to you. I've, Pisces not wanting to let you go okay you know even if they're gone even if they're not communicating with you Pisces is like completely surrendering to a connection with you but they are they're like shielding and blocking their emotions in their heart Pisces might feel betrayed by something um, but at the same time I feel like Pisces is also hitting rock bottom um, hmm and realize they're not letting you go oh my goodness I feel like a very possessive energy here with this Pisces um, because to surrender and then to not let go at the same time is very conflicting I feel like um, they're hiding um, the fact that they won't let you go and they might be telling you or coming forward and telling you that they give up and that they're not gonna fight for this anymore but don't that's a lie don't believe it it's bull <laughs> they're kind of they're conceding I feel um, but at the same time they're blocking their heart and they're not letting you know so I, I feel like Pisces is giving off the impression that they're not interested and that they're they're done and they're not wanting any kind of connection and they're hiding that that's what I feel like is going on but that's not the truth I don't feel like that's the truth at all all right, you guys, so those are going to be your daily love messages. Take it with a grain of salt. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, come back tomorrow, and there will be another reading. We'll see how that goes. All right, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you soon.